hi guys you are welcome back to my channel if it's your first time seeing me you are welcome so in today's video i'll be showing you how i apply my eyeshadow it is very very beginners friendly so stay tuned while we jump right into this video i'll be sanitizing my hands with this hand sanitizer before i go into skin prepping it kills 99.99 percent .99 of germs it's antibacterial deep clean clean hand gel if you do makeup on others i trust me you will love this and then i'm going to be cleansing my face with the micellar cleansing water it's from noage so i'll be moisturizing my lips using this lip balm it is very good you moisturize your lips so that when you apply your lipstick or whatever you want to apply on your lips it glides on smoothly next i'll be setting my brows with the sasha buttercup setting powder just to help absorb all the oils that will be coming through around my brows i'm done setting my brows right now i'll be using the debbie luster brow pencil in dark brown to outline my brows I'm brushing through right now just to see the space where I need to fill in the brows just like I'm doing and then I'll be using this pencil from Zaron I have used the life out of this pencil I still love it because it is a matte pencil I do produce oil around my brows so I love any pencil that is matte so that's why I'm still using this pencil despite the fact that it is so short I'll be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee and Fawn to clean my brows. So I'm using the Toffee to clean the bottom part of my brows because I always go with two to three shades lighter than my skin tone at the bottom part of my brows while I go with my natural skin tone to clean the top of my brows. So that's why I'll be using the Fawn to clean the top of my brows. I'll be using this small blending brush to blend the concealer that I use in cleaning my brows into my skin so that everything will look flawless and smooth. And then I'll be setting my brows with the Blood Cosmetic Brow Gel in Light Coffee. This just help my brows to stay in place all through the day. So now I'm setting my face with this hydrating mist from Flawless Ivy. It prime set and refresh shades your face. I always love to set my face before I go in with any other primer. I'll be priming my face with the Perms primer. It's oil controlling. I always produce oil around my forehead, the bridge of my nose and my chin. So that's why I'm going in with this. And I'm also going to be using the Rimmel Matte Primer to also prime my face. I love to keep my face matte because I produce oil in this area a lot. And then I'll also be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser to minimize my pores. I all I have 
pores around my cheek so i'll be using this to minimize my pores I'm using this liquid highlighter from Noban Beauty to apply to the highest point of my face. You can mix this with your foundation but I want to use it directly so you can see how gorgeous this look. Are you seeing the glow already? So I'm going to apply this foundation on my face. This is Zikel foundation in 015. It is Zikel tan. The thing with this foundation is that it doesn't have a stopper. So I'll be applying my foundation using a damn beauty sponge to do that. Just like I'm doing right now, you need a damn beauty sponge because it helps your foundation to apply nicely, smoothly and swift. I'm highlighting my face using the Ella Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. I'm highlighting the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my under eye, my chin. This is the area that light would normally hit my face. So I'm blending out the concealer that I just applied on my face to highlight. I'm using a damn beauty sponge to do this. The sponge I used earlier to blend my foundation is the same sponge I'm using to blend out the highlighted area. You want to make sure that you blend it properly so there will be no demarcation or harsh lines. I'll be contouring my face with the Ella Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut. I'll be contouring the temples, the whole of my cheek and then the tip of my chin with this concealer. So I'll be buffing the concealer in using this brush. Is a no name brush actually you want to be sure that what you are blending is seamless there is no demarcation no harsh lines between the highlight and your contour I'll be setting the highlighted area with this setting powder from Sasha Buttercup this just help the highlighted area to stay in place and stay matte all through the day. To set my contour, I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Cappuccino in 340 to set. The brush I'm using is from City Color in number F04. 
So I'll be using this to set my contour. I'll be setting the whole of my face with this early pride compact palette powder I'll be using the medium and the O2 to set the whole of my face I'm priming my lid using the NYX eyeshadow base I'll be using my finger as well to blend the eyeshadow primer into my skin because I find that easier and it blends fast so I love to use my finger to do that I'm defining my crease using the powder I use in contouring my face to define my crease. I just wanted to use that powder before I go in with my eyeshadow. So I'm using the Debbie Luster eyeshadow palette in nude. So I'll be going into that palette and I'll be picking the orange color it looks like a yellow color in the palette but when you apply when you apply it is orange so transition color is the color that you use to blend out the eyeshadow that you'll be applying to your lid a transition color helps your lid color to appear nicely and well blended so that is why you need to blend out your transition color nicely so right now i'll be deepening my outer corner of the eyes i'll be using the dark brown shade inside the palette to deepen my outer corner of the eyes be sure to blend your transition color properly you need to blend 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 so that you can come out with a good result if you feel that the color payoff is not giving you what you want you can go back into that palette just to depend your crease or whatever color you feel that you might have lost you can go back into the palette so right now what i'm doing is to carve out the ball of my eyes but i'm not really going to do a cut crease i'm just giving the uh, i want to give the eyeshadow a base to sit on so that's why i went back with the nyx eyeshadow base So I went back into that eyeshadow palette to pick the peach color inside. So I'm using my finger to apply that lid color. You can use your brush or your finger, whichever works for you. But I'll still be going back with the brush to just make everything look nice, seamless and, you know, beautiful. So you want to blend your eyeshadow with the transition color you want to make everything to look seamless you blend your eyeshadow together so that nobody will notice where the eyeshadow is coming from or the transition color is starting so you need to blend it properly you blend in between the lines you don't want to have a harsh lines in between your eyeshadow I'm using the matte shade, the two cream shade in the palette to set my brow bone. So guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, please go subscribe, leave a comment right down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss new videos. So I just gave my eyes the illusion of eyeliner i didn't want to use eyeliner for this look i just wanted to leave keep everything simple i wanted this video to be as beginners friendly as possible so that 
if you're new to applying eyeshadow you'll be able to pick one or two things from this video so i'm using the turquoise blue eyeliner to line my waterline i popped on some eyelashes from red Co lashes i use the eyeshadow that i use for my transition to smoke out my eyes I'm picking my bottom lashes with the lengthening mascara from Zaron Cosmetics. Lining my lips right now using the brow pencil from Debbie Luster and I'll be going over it using the matte velvet lipstick from Ellie Girl in Snuggle. Guys, if you want to see a soft glam and an everyday makeup look, I'll be leaving the link right down below at the description box. Just be sure to click and watch as soon as you're done watching this. So I went back into that face mist to spray my face and Put everything together I'm using this highlighter from Noban Beauty the glow palette I use the star stroke and the dazzle in the palette to highlight my face I love to spray my face before I apply my highlighter so that when I am putting the glow everything will just melt into my skin I'm using the e.l.f. cream blush to blush up my face. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you were able to pick one or two tips from this video. Please tell me what you would love to see next on this channel and also tell me if this video was helpful. Write down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, stay blessed, and stay beautiful till I come your way next time. Bye, guys.